So artificial intelligence might give us the opportunity to flag that those unusual symptoms are occurring way before human clinicians and departments of health realize it, giving us several weeks of head start to get ahead. So what AI could help us do and technology could help us do is before the human clinicians realize there's something strange going on and we should start testing, which is, as I said, a week or two before we alert our healthcare institutions, it could alert us to a spike in patients presenting to emergency departments with those symptoms, cough, colds, fevers, so that we know ahead of time, giving us several weeks, maybe even a month of warning so we can start public safety announcements, vaccinations, and recommendations for the, for the public in terms of hand washing, covering your cough, et cetera, and help us get ahead of these sort of pandemics, maybe a month or so ahead of time before they really fester. So Arab Health, to be honest, this is my first year here, and I've been so impressed with how they bring together different aspects of healthcare and clinical medicine from all over the world. And what I noticed this year more than what I'm used to at most clinical conferences is the amount of technology that people are voluntarily speaking about. And some of the things we used to think about as being more space age or more in the future, and uh, the more, more we practice in emergency medicine specifically, the more we realize that the future is now.